Hi, my name is Ellie and I run the Operation Wallacea project in Madagascar. So we are based in the forest in the Mahamavo region in the northwest of Madagascar. It is a dry deciduous forest and we also have associated wetlands with some of our sites. This forest is community managed which means that it's not a protected area. Uh, that means that we work closely with the local community to try and figure out how we can uh, stop deforestation and soil erosion and protect the habitat that these animals are living in. We invite university students out here to join us in Madagascar to help us collect the really important data for monitoring the biodiversity of this forest. They will take part in a lecture series in their first week. This helps to put into context the surveys that they are doing here on the project. We also have dissertation students that join us out on site and they can take part in a wide range of projects with the support of Operation Wallacea as well as a supervisor from their university as well. These students will spend six weeks collecting their own data and will have the opportunity to present their findings and start to analyse their data on site. We do five lectures in a lecture series looking at wildlife and conservation. So we cover a broad range of topics, everything from how Operation Wallacea works, um, the site that we're at, the different sites they'll be going to, um, the species that are here, the distributions, how Madagascar is really unique for endemism, and then looking at also the people aspect of conservation and how the culture here in Madagascar has contributed to conservation as well. DIPCAM, OPWOL and the University of Oxford set up a project in the Marirano Tropical Dry Forests in Western Madagascar in the year 2010. Our objectives was to look at the patterns of diversity across a landscape of dry forest and wetland systems and to look at trends through time in key biodiversity features. In Marirano we've been studying trees, various invertebrate groups, reptiles, amphibians, forest birds, wetland birds, as well as uh, mammals, looking at lemurs, bats, and small mammals and carnivores. The biodiversity survey activities that we run are led by experienced scientists. But university students and school students are very welcome to join those scientists and participate in collecting data. I'm conducting my dissertation research here with Operation Wallacea. I'm conducting it on bird communities and the response to habitat structure and habitat change uh, within the dry forests of Madagascar. I'm looking at how diurnal lemur species are utilising their habitat in response to habitat and human disturbance. The main thing I've gained from this trip is to see real world conservation on the ground to a fantastic standard. Uh, Operation Wallacea use high quality staff, it uses local communities as guides and as scientists, which is phenomenal. It's exactly what we need in conservation and it's amazing to see the applications here in the field to real success. Personally, this has helped me develop highly and it's given me a chance to undertake field research that I wouldn't otherwise get an opportunity to do. I was immediately interested in Madagascar because I'm quite aware of the deforestation issues. The biggest benefit I've had from actually seeing it eye to eye out here is the effects of deforestation on local people. You, you learn a lot of different techniques to do different kind of surveys. So it's really interesting to go in, in the field and learn so much things with all of the people. And I'm looking forward for my next trip because since I'm here, uh, Operation Wallacea helped me understand that I really want to work in the field and in different countries to discover the more things it's possible to. <laughs> My name is Ellen Fluharty. I am the site manager here in Nozi B, Madagascar, and also the head of research here at this site. A typical day at our site consists of two dives or two snorkels, along with two lectures per day. Those who will be learning how to dive will complete their open water dive training, and those who are either already qualified or who will be snorkeling with us will partake in our Indian Ocean Reef Ecology course and get to practice the various underwater surveying techniques that we use in the water. And so throughout the week they're exposed to many different things from as simple as laying a, a transect underwater to uh, performing visual census surveys, fish surveys, invertebrate surveys, coral morphological identification, 
a whole suite of different survey techniques uh, while they are here. And so a lot of this research is actually going to contribute towards an ongoing database. So as, as we come back year after year to the same site, we'll be going ahead and gathering uh, data which we can refer to in the future and future studies. And ideally we start to draw parallels between marine protected and non-marine protected uh, species and diversity and uh, different metrics that we look at with regards to reef health and biodiversity. Ah, 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 ah,